Woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. I woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. I woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Saturday, y'all. Y'all still got my phone and some flour. That is four cups of self rising flour. To this four cups of self rising flour, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to add two teaspoons of kosher salt. And I'm going to add, I'm sorry, that was two tablespoons of bacon powder. Yeah. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar. I didn't tell y'all what y'all what I was making this morning, huh? Plus, um, in this flour. Well, I woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. I woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. I woke up this morning with my mind on buttermilk biscuits. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. So, yeah, I just had my flour in the refrigerator for a while so it can get cold. We're gonna make some buttermilk bis biscuits, y'all. So, even though this is self rising flour, I always have to add about two more tablespoons of baking powder to make sure my stuff rise. Because I'm gonna do some of the cast iron skillet like back in the day. All right. So, that was um, three um, tablespoons of sugar, that was two teaspoons of kosher salt, and that was two tablespoons of baking powder. And also, this is four cups of self-rising flour. All right, let me show you the next step. All right, to this cold flour, I'm about to add two sticks of grated butter. That's stick number one. Let me stir that in. And we're gonna stir it in, let's put in stick number two. That's cold frozen butter. Everything has to be cold, y'all. I got my buttermilk. I got my buttermilk in the refrigerator. Okay. I'm going to stir this into it's like crumbs. You see that? Teach y'all how to make buttermilk biscuits. I was taught a long time ago. But I was taught with shortening instead of butter. We're using butter today. Be right back. All right, y'all. Got all that mixed up. My butter and stuff still cold. So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to put a wet, put a, put a hole in the middle. Now I'm holding my phone with my left hand. And in that hole in the middle, I'm gonna start out with like a cup and a half. A cup and a half of buttermilk. You see that? A cup and a half of buttermilk. And I'm about to get my hands nasty. See that? I'm about to get it nasty. And my hands are already washed, y'all. So I'm about to just tie this all in together. You see that? Put my phone in there. I pull all this together. All right. Be right back to show y'all what it's gonna look like. My biscuits. <laughs> y'all say, what is that mess in that bowl? Why it look all crumbly and look like rocks and stuff? I'm about to show y'all. It's gonna come together. Don't put no milk in this. Do not put a, uh, not even a tinge 
Not even a teeny bit. Now put the more milk in this. Be right back. <laughs> I got some parchment down, parchment paper down on the counter, and I'm about to put this, and I and I got some flour on there. I'm about to put this on there. You see that? I'm put all that on there. You see that? All right. All right, y'all. Take this parchment paper and go like this. I'm gonna fold it like this and tear it. You wanna have as less contact with your hands as possible. Fold it like that and tear it in a rectangle. See like this? Okay, I hope y'all can see me. Tear it like this. Yeah. Right here, fold it over. Put it down the rectangle. Put this piece right here, put it back in the paper. And then fold this and pad it. Fold that and pad it. This is the gap. Take this piece, fold it like this, kind of piece of paper over, and get your comment. The butter's still cold. So I'm gonna do this about five times. Be right back. Hope y'all can see this. I got my rolling pin out. And you see I have it in a rectangle. I then folded it about four times already. Every time you fold, you are doing a new layer that's gonna be in your buttermilk biscuits. So then you feel okay, strong like that. Or like this. Take it in. Take it. See how I fold it? Can y'all see that? See how I fold it? So when I fold it like this, that's another layer. It's gonna be in your biscuits. Now I don't actually know how many inches wide or whatever. I know that when you do your biscuits, you want it at least you want it to be at least uh, a half an inch. I don't want that much hand contact with this dough. You want about a half an inch thick. Now, let's see, I got it like that. Now let me fold it like this. Fold it, it'll probably be my last time. Right there. Let me show the camera. Like right there. In that rectangle. And let me like this all right be right back all right y'all y'all see that i got it rolled out i don't know what size it is what look got it rolled out and it's about a half an inch thick here go my cast iron skillet there go my cast iron skillet i got it greased up and there go my here goes my biscuit cutter i finally bought me one i got tired of using i got tired of using that glass so let me dip it in some flour. Okay, dip the flour. And let me place it right here. And press down. Press down. You don't want to twist on biscuits because you do not. You do not want to lock it. You don't want to seal the edges. Place it down. Pull it up. Now, I should have a perfect biscuit right there. There we go. I go a buttermilk biscuit and take it, place it right there in my skillet. All right, be right back. All right, y'all, that's what much dough I have left over. I'm going to refold it and make some more. If you was to cut them in squares, you wouldn't have no ex excess dough, okay? But I end up getting 10 in the skillet. That's all that'll fit. So I'm going to do these 10 in the skillet. There go my buttermilk biscuits. Y'all see that? Now what I do is, I did some baking earlier to go with my breakfast, so I'm going to take my brush right here, and I got some baking grease. I'm just going to take a little baking grease and go on the top of it for a little flavor. A little baking grease. Mm, nobody said this was healthy. All right, let me get this. Let me get each one with some baking grease on top. There go my buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. About to put them in the oven. I got my oven on 425. And I'm about to put them in there for between 15 and 20 minutes. 
All right. Girl, they've been in for 20 minutes. Oh, they smell good. Oh, it's a heavy damn skillet. Oh, me. All right. Hope I got it on there. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Been in there 20 minutes. And put some butter on top. Got me some butter melted. Put a brush them down with some butter. And he is sizzling, sizzling. And he's hitting that cast iron. I told y'all, I know how to make biscuits. When I first was taught how to make biscuits, I was taught how to do it with um, um, shortening and buttermilk. But now I just use straight butter. Now I use shortening when I do my pie crust because I like it flaky. All right. Brush these babies good. The finishing product. I put some butter and some honey on top. And there we go. So go make y'all some buttermilk biscuits. It's not hard. All right, we're going to open one up and taste it after a while. Let me let them cool off for a few seconds. Tell you what a blind man can't do. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's taste test the biscuits. I got one right here. Let me open it up for y'all. Look at that. There we go. Got it opened up. I got me some home, homemade fig preserve. <clears throat> I might make some this year. Show y'all how, how you make fig preserve. Told y'all I'm a country boy. I'm a country boy. My mama taught me how to do all this. Put me some fig preserve. On half of this biscuit right here. All right. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Y'all. Yeah. I don't brag on now. I don't like bragging on myself at all. But God darn it, when you know what you're doing, mm -mm -mm. when you know what you're doing, mm -mm -mm. y'all, yeah, man, this is <laughs> this is one of the best biscuits. I'm telling you. Oh. Mm -mm. You know what? Mm -mm. I'm not going to tease y'all like this. Like I say, mm, y'all seen the blind man make it. I can't see y'all. Look, my eyes closed. And look, my eyes are, look, I'm looking at y'all. You see my eyes and turn white, gray looking. I hate that. I wish they were still light brown. But anyway, I do good for a blind man, I think. <laughs> well, Time for me to eat my breakfast. Um, I got my bacon done. It's time for me to fry eggs. And I'm about to eat me some breakfast. Happy Saturday, y'all. Go make you some biscuits. They good. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>